Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back for another Boss Babe episode. Thanks for tuning in. If you're already a subscriber, thank you for coming back. Super appreciated. So lately I asked you guys what other topics within the Boss Babe series do you want to see me make a video on? Just because I've had this series for like a year and a half and I've covered so much with, you know, working on social media, working from home, tips on organization, budgeting, improving your credit. And I want to know like what you guys really want more help with and what is a good topic of interest so I can serve you the best. And most of you always say you're looking for more ways to make money at home, whether that be a full-time job or a part-time job at home, or just maybe a side hustle. If you're working a corporate job right now or something nine to five and you only have like two or three hours at the end of the day when you come home, you know, for a little side hustle, or you just, you know, maybe you're a stay-at-home mom and you have multiple kids or you go to college or you know we all just want to make more money okay we all want to feel secure and confident in our finances and that we can support our family and you guys know I've said so many times in the boss babe series just being able to work from home and pursue my passion while knowing that I can support Christian without any additional help has just been the biggest blessing in my life and there sorry about that there are really no words to describe how grateful I feel to have this job and to you know, have learned the resources and the tips and tricks over time to run a successful social media business. So you guys already know it's my passion to share all of this back with you. If you're new to my channel, go ahead and subscribe and I'll link the whole Boss Babe playlist down below. You can kind of choose what video is right for you in your life and hopefully I can be a resource for you. But you guys know I do have specific videos on how to make a living on social media. If you want to be a YouTuber or you want to utilize Instagram or Twitter for to actually monetize those platforms, check out those videos because those are going to be separate. But today I'm going to talk about the top side hustles, the highest paying side hustles. So everything I mentioned today, I will link down below. If you guys want to sign up for, you can use those links as a resource. All right. So the first thing I want to talk about is actually the highest paying. It ranges from 80 to $140 an hour, which is crazy. I know you guys are like, girl, where can I sign up? Obviously, I'm going to have links for all this down below for you, but the company is called Respondent. Basically, what that is, is when any type of company is about to launch a new product, they actually want to send out like beta testers of the product to a bunch of different consumers and actually get their feedback and get their review to see if they can tweak the product, make it a little bit better, get your opinion on the price, the sizing, the weight, just your overall review on how a product worked for you. So you basically sign up online on this company called Respondent as a beta tester, like beta user. Um, some of the stuff is you have to meet up in person at an office with them but I know this video is obviously side hustles and stuff you can do from home so you just want to look for the job titles that say remote which means that you can do it from home as long as you have Wi-Fi internet access and you're over 18 years old you'll actually sign up on the website and then you can choose the companies that fit with your personality and with your taste whether it be like electronic stuff or beauty stuff you can actually choose the products you think would fit well with your lifestyle then the company sends you a beta tester of the product you review it you have to write I know there's a requirement Requirement. I mean, obviously, if they're paying you this much, it's a job. You know, it's not like super easy. Um, I'm not sure if it's a full page or two pages, but there's a requirement for how many words your review needs to be. And they want you to review like every aspect of the product. Like I said, just so they can make it better before they launch it out to the public. This is super common with like tons of companies. Um, but yeah, doing my research, this company has actually gained a lot of popularity within the past year. They're 100% verified, certified, like legit. As long as you're over 18, I believe they will run a background check on you just to make sure... Obviously, you have no criminal history or anything like that. Um, so I will have that website below as well if you guys want to sign up. So next up, I want to talk about Ebates. This could be a side hustle or it could literally be like a part-time or a full-time job if you actually get enough referrals. If you know enough people, this is the absolute best website that where they'll actually pay you cash back for doing your regular online shopping that you do anyways. Again, so if you guys are looking for a job specifically from home and you don't want to leave the house, say you want to order your clothing, your groceries, literally anything online. They have, I believe, over tw like 25 hundred stores so you basically do all of your online shopping like you normally would and they'll pay you cash back whether that be two percent five percent ten percent the cash back is different per store um, I wanted to mention that in today's video I know you guys have already heard me talk about Ebates a ton but I want to mention it today because I'm putting up this video on a Saturday so tomorrow they're actually having a huge promotion with 11% cash back so I will have a link down below where you guys can sign up you'll actually get a welcome bonus and then tomorrow whatever shopping you were planning on doing online I would go ahead and do it tomorrow use Ebates you'll get the 11% cash back which is crazy most of their stores usually only have like two 
two to six percent I would say is like normal so this is something again just for like moms say you have multiple kids and you're always looking to save money and you're going to order groceries or like I said kids clothing maybe some Christmas gifts online they have incredible deals with Sephora Ulta you can literally order all of your Christmas and holiday gifts online and get cash back it costs you absolutely nothing to sign up with Ebates there's no yearly fee it's incredible you can get paid through a check or through PayPal um, I believe I've been using it now for like three years every single holiday season my cash back is insane because I just do all of my online shopping um, online and then with Ebates you know I get the cash back and then they do have a referral program as well where you do get $25 per person that you refer and then when they make their first purchase you get that referral bonus so if you have a lot of friends and family and you send them your referral link that can add up super super quick so they're also sponsoring a $100 giveaway in this video, so I'll have a link down below in the description for you guys to enter there. And then don't forget tomorrow to log online and go through Ebates to get 11% cash back on hundreds of stores. That promotion is only tomorrow, and then they'll also have other awesome promos for like Black Friday, for December. As long as you're signed up, you'll be good to go. It'll alert you and remind you to shop through Ebates whenever you just log on to your web browser per normal. Um, but I know tomorrow is like the highest cash back um, day that they've had in a really, really long time. So if you want to get anyone Christmas gifts or anything, I would jot them all down tonight and just be ready to go tomorrow. All right, so another incredible resource and website, which I've actually used for my business, I did hire a virtual assistant on there. It's called upwork.com. So if, again, if you guys want to make money from home and you want to sign up on there, I believe there may be some of these websites I'm mentioning are free to sign up on with Upwork. There may be a one-time $20 fee, which I think is nothing, and that's totally fine if you're going to go on to make hundreds, even thousands of dollars, you know, having like a very small setup fee, I don't think is much. Um, if you want something else that's completely free, obviously check the other resources down below. But if you want to sign up for Upwork, it's incredible. You can become a virtual assistant. People will go on there and they'll pay you per hour. You'll actually negotiate with the person who's hiring you how much and like what is a fair price for that job. A lot of people on there will hire someone to do graphic work, like graphic design work. If you have a podcast or an ebook and you want someone who's really artsy and they just fully understand like Adobe and Photoshop to do all of your graphic design for you, you can hire someone on Upwork. Basically, if you go on there and you sign up, you input what tasks you have. Graphic design, virtual assistant experience, whether you want to build a website for someone, you know all about the HTML coding and you can just completely build their page. People will literally pay so much money for all these things, especially entrepreneurs who are trying to build their business. They want to hire someone really professional, again, to make sure they come out with a professional ebook or website or, again, any type of VA work that they need. So I've hired someone off of Upwork I can rely on. I can vouch for the person who I hired was responsible and mature. Obviously, everybody's different. You can, you know, pay the extra money to have a background check on that person if you would like, but I don't think it's that serious if it's just like VA work. See? Getting all up in my video, girl. Um, but yeah, I've had tons of friends use Upwork.com. It is 100% legit, and I will have a link down below if you want to sign up for that. All right, so next up, I know I've talked about Uber and Lyft in some of my previous videos, but the popularity of those companies is only increasing, as well as the revenue and how much they pay you guys. So in doing my research for this updated video, I still did want to include these because I truly think it's an incredible position and it's a great opportunity for you guys. I know this video is like stay-at-home side hustles. Obviously, with Uber and Lyft, you do have to leave the house, but it could be super part-time. Time. totally up to you guys both companies are like certified and like verified if that makes sense to where in order for you to work there you obviously do have to have a good driving record a super clean safe reliable car um, and I believe they do a background check and just you know make sure that you're a legit safe human to be driving other people around but this is something really great if you're a nurse or you have um, a job like that that's overnight or you have really weird hours and say you're only free from like 10 p.m. to 2 a.m. where you could really do a side hustle you could go out into like Old Town and Uber people People always need rides home when they're drunk or you know when they just didn't want to drive um, but I know I mentioned that in my last video Uber and Lyft are both actually having bonus periods right now so if you sign up and you work a certain number of hours I believe with, with Uber it's once you work your first 200 hours you get a $300 bonus so that's incredible again as long as you're over 18 and you have a good driving record you can sign up for either of those um, I've obviously used both services so many times and I love that Again, links for those will be down below. Another delivery service, which is incredible, is going to be Uber Eats and also Instacart. You guys can easily sign up to be a delivery person through there. It's actually funny. The girl who delivered my groceries the other day opened the door because I use Instacart like every day. Like, hi, sponsor me. Like, I spend all my money on Instacart. I don't like going to the grocery store, so I always have my groceries delivered. And it's so funny. The girl who delivered them the other day opened the door and she was like, I was like literally in pajamas. She like looked me up and down. She's like, oh my God, I watch your videos. And I was like, Hey girl. 
But yeah, signing up for Instacart is super easy. You can actually make, I believe with Instacart, up to $30 an hour. It really depends how fast you are. If you want to hustle, all they're going to do is send you to Stater Brothers, Albertsons, Costco, or Petco. Um, they just inclu they just included Petco, which is really cool. So they have all four companies. The customer will go online, place their order. You'll get a text notification on your phone that someone has made an order, and you will go get the items from the store and deliver it to that person's house. So this is another one where you do have to leave the house, but it's totally up to you if you'd want to work two hours a week or if you'd want to work 20, 30 hours a week and make even more income. Totally up to you, but it's super flexible because you'd be really surprised. People actually order things, groceries and like stuff from CVS and just random items in like random hours of the night. So it's a cool job where it's very flexible on hours. Um, I believe the pay on that starts at 16 an hour and like I said, goes all the way up to 30 an hour. All right, so next up is something kind of random and you'd have to definitely be like a giving, cautious, like trusting person. Um, but this is actually, again, perfect if you're a mom of multiple kids and you can't leave the house um, and you actually want to rent out your vehicle. There's a lot of people who, you know, don't have the funds for a vehicle. They need to get to school. They need to get to work for whatever reason. Maybe they don't want to take the bus, the train. You can actually rent out your car as long as you have a reliable car. I'm um, in order to sign up for this. I don't know if someone comes out and in inspects your car. I'll have the whole website listed down below. But to sign up for this, all you have to do is be over 18. You'll actually negotiate with the company how much money you would like per hour whenever someone comes to your home to pick up the vehicle you can actually lease out your car for I believe like two to like 12 hours a day depending what you negotiate with the company and with that specific guest um, but as long as you feel comfortable with the person and they just want like reliable transportation to college or whatever to work whatever it may be you know I feel like I would totally want to help someone out if they just didn't have a car and they wanted especially if I didn't really need that car for the day and it was you know the right price per hour and everything there's two companies that do this it's called Turo and Run Run around, run around, I believe is the other one. I'll have them both linked down below. But say that your spouse is at work, he's got his car, and your car is just sitting at home and you do want to make extra money, definitely take advantage of that one. Next up, you guys already may be super familiar because I feel like this is running the world right now. Again, because it's an incredible investment and awesome way to make extra money, whether it's a side hustle, a few hundred bucks a month, or a ton of people make a full-time income doing this, like a ton of people. So of course it's Airbnb. If you have an apartment or a condo or a little side house, like a casita, like a grandma's, what's it called? Grandma's quarters, like attached to your house, and no one is using that room, spruce it up a little bit, throw a guest bed in there and Airbnb that shit out because you can charge so, so much. It's crazy how much money you can make with Airbnb if you have any portion of your home that you're not using and you want to let a renter come in. Uh, very temporary renter, of course. Most people come for events or for a vacation for maybe one to three days, I think is the average. You can make so much money with Airbnb. You can just sign up. I'll have a link down below. Or if you have a vacation home or say you rented out an apartment for a year and you're in a lease, but you want to go travel and you want someone else to, you know, come in and rent out those rooms, you'll actually end up making so much more than your actual rent. Say you have multiple renters paying different fees for different nights. Um, if there's like a super popular event going on or a concert or something in your city, you can charge more per night because the demand for people looking for rooms is higher. Um, but I personally, I've heard online insane stories about how much people make with Airbnb and I have a few friends who just recently started doing it and said it's an incredible, incredible side hustle. So definitely be sure to check that out as well. Then last, I do just want to mention selling your own stuff, your own artwork or clothing or whatever products you have around the house you may not need or something you created on Etsy and then also on Poshmark. You guys know I've talked about Poshmark on my channel tons of times. If you have clothing you're no longer wearing that is new or it's in really good condition, you can list that on Poshmark. Um, Poshmark takes a very, very small fee and they also pay for the shipping, which is great. When someone purchases something from you, they'll email you a shipping label, which is prepaid. All you have to do is drop off the package at the post office and then Poshmark will pay you your earnings and they can actually transfer it right into your bank account, which is super easy. I know a lot of people already know about Etsy, but Etsy is pretty much where you can sell your own creations. So if you're a painter or you design things or you make anything handmade, um, you can sell it on Etsy. I know one of you corrected me in my last video and told me to make sure that I mentioned Etsy also does take a very small fee and I believe they do set you up with a 1099 as an independent contractor. So any money you make throughout the year, they won't tax you on, but they will send you a tax form at the end of the year. So make sure you're saving some of that revenue so you can pay those taxes back later. And you know, just make sure you're good with the IRS because I actually recently heard of someone uh, going through an audit, you know, and that was no fun. So with any type of like self-employment like this, a lot of companies are going to have you sign up as an independent contractor, which is cool for you because you get more revenue upfront throughout the year, but just make sure that you're smart and being 
just really savvy financially and saving so that you can always pay your taxes back properly at the end of the year, you know, so you don't got any issue with Uncle Sam. That would be no good. So I feel like I've been chatting forever. I mean, it's me. It's probably gonna be like a 20 minute video again, but I hope you guys enjoyed this. I really, really appreciate you tuning in. Obviously, every single job and resource I mentioned, I'll have listed down below.